All right, guys, welcome back. James here again with you, and today I have the Umarex Gauntlet Out 22 caliber. It's almost 100 degrees right now, <laughs> and the wind's blowing 10 miles an hour. And I just wanted to see, with this gun being in factory form, I did I took all the mods off, uh, no barrel band, nothing like that, just to see, truly see, what these gamos are capable of. 15.2. Or two gamo hunters if they could pass the uh, FX if this gun could pass the FX factory uh, test at 20 and a half meters and have a group um, you know between five and a half millimeters or seven and a half millimeters at 20 and a half meters uh, just to see if it could do it um, you know this gun's a whole different animal compared to my chief I think the chief is just a hair more accurate because you know, it doesn't have all the suppression, it has a thicker barrel, it has a barrel, an actual barrel band. Um, so, I truly believe that, you know, the Chief is not to be <laughs> messed with, it's it's something else. But, the gauntlet here, you know, it has all the features that everybody wanted for a budget PCP. But I think, you know, you do have to give up here and there. And, you know, who really knows what that was, but just to see if this gun... You know, like around the three hundred dollar price point, if it can come up or match with the, you know, one of the most expensive air rifles in accuracy, specifically, you know, from the factory of FX stating, you know, Frederick Axelson himself stating that uh, their guns get five and a half to seven and a half millimeters at, you know, twenty and a half meters outside outside group. So I got the scope cam and everything set up. Again, about 100 degrees outside, 10 mile an hour winds, and then a couple gusts you can hear. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get shooting, and uh, I'm, again, I'm using the Gamo pellets, and these are, uh, you know, obviously they're not the best quality, and I know, you know, a lot of people said that they got flashing and dye, uh, parts from the lead from the dye and all that stuff. You know, the funny part is, I still shoot the pellets no matter what. Um, long as the skirt is not damaged I still shoot them even if they have a little bit of flashing in the skirt I have not noticed a big difference at all at least with my shooting in this gun and even at a hundred yards I was shooting with the pellets like that didn't sort them or anything just put them in the magazine and BAM well today I'm also doing uh, something more traditional just like in the the FX factory video that I showed you guys in the last video with the uh, Beeman Chief they were using a single shot tray, and that's what I'm using in this gun, just to take out the um, play of the magazine, you know, to make sure this gun is, to see how well it is compared to the magazine. Um, you know, I got the single shot tray in here, as you can see. No magazine. So, let's get shooting, guys. 20 and a half meters.
All right, 20 and a half meters down. Uh, 23 yards equivalent. And got my dial caliber here. Now through the scope cam, you can see there, it looks like I got some vertical string, but I'm blaming that on the actual wind today because it's blowing south. And if you could tell in the video, my gun is steady as a rock. It is the actual target that is blowing back and forth. And you'll see it here. See, this is just standing down here and it's doing that. So me aiming at this line and it keeps moving up and down, that could have been this right here. So, you know, it sucks that I can't, I had to have to include all this, but they were in a perfect condition when doing that actual factory test. I'm not, I have to shoot in the elements as stated previously in the previous video. So, let me make sure it's zeroed out here. Get you guys shown, let's see it's, now it's zero. So outside to outside. Six point two nine millimeters. So that definitely falls within FX's standard. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. So 6.29 millimeters, pretty much the same hole, just vertical spread up and down. That sucks, but it is what it is. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go uh, put the gear away for a minute and cool off because I am uh, dripping sweat just being out here for a couple minutes just to shoot a couple shots. So, alrighty guys, well, uh, as always, I appreciate you watching and just to show you the accuracy of the gauntlet, you know, without any tuning or mods, you know, I tune for a certain reason, not, uh, you know, just to do it, I do it for a reason. Um, so anyways, you can see though, the gun with no barrel band and all this and that that's the way it comes shooting the gamma 15.42s at 20 and a half meters and again i wish i was in a controlled environment but it is what it is and you know real shooters are actually going to shoot outside and not inside especially if you're going to use a gun for hunting purposes or field work instead of just punching paper inside so all right guys i appreciate you watching as always see you on the next one